Chunk, where you been, buddy? I'm right here, guys. Uh, ACG fan, what's up? Long time no see. Uh, I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. Uh, had my ups and downs, but I'm back. Um, yeah, it's been, what, three months? Uh, sorry. Uh, I don't know. I, I Maybe four months, uh, November or December. And I think back on what happened, and I kind of just fell apart. I I did a good P3 in November, and we were going to start a, a turkey, Thanksgiving challenge, uh, Christmas challenge, whatever, and that kind of fell apart. And I started with uh, some HHCG because my HCG didn't ship forever, uh, thanks Israel or India or wherever it came from. And finally it showed up like in January, but by then I was uh, eating my uh, self to death, per se. So I gave, kind of gave up in December with back problems, health problems. I was having a lot of teeth pain and brain fog. And I don't know, It's maybe I just didn't give myself a good enough break. But, oh, I had a good break. Um, you know, probably two, two and a half months of just eating whatever I wanted. Uh, that's part of why I didn't vlog. I, I kind of fell into that old trap. And you feel guilty if you don't. If you're not participating in, you know, and encouraging, it's like you feel hypocritical. And, you know, it's it's like no matter how bad I was doing and no matter um, what I was doing wrong, people still backed me up. I had support through vlogs, emails, uh, texts, uh, just some amazing people uh, continue to push me uh, through my troubles. And so I really want to thank the HCG fam. Um, and my sis Kathy, she's uh, she's amazing. She's uh, kept me on the path, and and I had a lot of good friends uh, text me and PM me and wonder where I was. And part of it was just um, I've done this in the past, and I I think I talked about it on some of my old vlogs. It's like I I go so strong that I it's like my main focus. And when I was on ACG since June up until December, I couldn't think of anything else, and I'm I'm getting on YouTube and trying to vlog as much as I can. And it's like eat, sleep, and drink Facebook and and ACG information sites and dieting. And it's like I can't think of anything else. And I started to get really busy with work and family and stuff. And I think with it was a lot easier to fall apart after, you know, I had some health issues. And, you know, I'm back on ACG for three or four days in December and I just couldn't take the pain and I finally just wimped out. My biggest problem is that if I'm not a di on a diet, like the only thing green is candy apple. I don't know. Like there's nothing green in my life when I'm not on a diet. I'm really bad at balancing saying, oh, I'll just eat, you know, a turkey sub today and a light dinner. No, it's my you know, a variety of vegetables is hopefully there's something good in this Snickers bar. I don't know. It's just, I'm really bad if I'm not on a diet, but I'm the best dieter I know if, you know, I've lost the same 50 pounds like 3,000 times or something. So I'm really good if I'm on a diet, but once I fall, I'm just, I can't get back on. And, you know, I struggle with that. So I, I, I think some of you feel that same way. And it's really hard. So I it's weird because while I'm off my ACG and just eating whatever I want for the last two and a half, three months, it's like no words or no encouragement would make me get back on it. It's It was just that, I don't know what it is. It's uh, like setting a mark or for me, it's always been 300. Um, I, I've told myself I'll never go above 300 ever again and you know I'm hovering at 275 in December and immediately when I start eating bad I gain all that weight and when you you know when you put your body through uh, lower carb and stuff you're as soon as you go back on carbs your body your cells are going to fill with water and you're just going to gain that you know that f the f those first 10 or 12 pounds of water weight that you lose really fast at the start so I gained, you know, I got up to 290 like in a week. I gained, I think, 15 pounds. And that was just eating whatever I wanted. And then I started to kind of stabilize. And, you know, I hovered at 290 for a long time. And eating bad, and I thought, man, there's no way. I, how am I eating this bad and still not gaining weight? 
And then all of a sudden, one weekend, I kind of even ate better, and I wake up like six, seven pounds heavier. And it's just the the body will catch up to it, so you really can't fool yourself. And so it kind of hovered at 295, 298, and just those days where I'm like, I can't break 300. And, you know, I kind of scaled back and did better. But in my brain, like, that's always been my number. And... I finally hit 299.6, which I ended my round one. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I hit that number again, and I'm like, it's time to go. And I had my ACG in the fridge from January when I got it, you know, a month late. And I said, no matter how painful this is going to be, I just need to get back on the wagon. So I started, um, I don't know, about a month ago. And I lost 27 pounds the, in the first three weeks, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I pretty much got back down within five or six pounds of my last LDW, which is 268. Um, and I got down to 275 after the first three weeks. And then I went to Vegas, which I seem to do a lot. Sorry, Rich, I, I, I didn't hook you up. Uh, I was there for some training meetings, and I had zero time. I was only there for two days, and I had to travel north after that. But um, so in my seven, eight days interruption, I gained 11 pounds. I even ate good. It's like I don't know how to monitor these calories or something, or I don't know if I kept on too much sodium. But then I get back I don't know, on Friday, and I've lost 13 pounds in three days. This is just really weird. Like my, I don't know if it's just being this big where my body fluctuates in water so much, but you know, I lost it right back in three days. So it's, I mean, pretty crazy. So I'm hovering right around 275 right now. So I lost all the way I gained in Vegas and in traveling. And uh, I have till the end of this month to finish my round. So We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm hoping to get in the 260s, which I think I should be able to do. I got, you know, two weeks more shots. And it seems like that, you know, when you just start up a new batch of ACG, it just does really well. So I'm rambling. It's been a long time. I missed you guys. I really thanks thanks for the support. Um, the only thing I can say is that no matter what people say when you're in your low, it's really, really hard to dig yourself out. And I'll be honest, when I started a month ago, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. That first week was just brutal. I mean, I don't know. When you've done this a couple rounds, it, it seems easier. But once you lose that mojo, like it is just the thought of eating 500 calories, uh, like your brain won't let you do it. <laughs> and it's not that it's not safe or you feel, you're feel you feeling threatened. To, but you almost talk yourself into saying, yeah. 500 calories is too little, and I can't do this, I'm, I'm hurting myself, I'm ruining my body. Like you're finding all these excuses to just avoid knowing that you can't eat very much. And you want to hold on to that. The food, that's that's what fun is. That's what makes you happy, for me at least. Um, at least I think it makes me happy, even though half the nights you're sick and your stomach hurts and churns. and But somehow it's worth it. I don't know how. Well worth it in your brain but it's not worth it uh, on the scale or in your health so i don't know i'm preaching stuff that i don't even know what i'm talking about so but just know if you're at your lowest of lows um the encouragement does help but it just takes it it takes you to snap out of it and wake up one morning and say i've sucked at life for the past whatever months it's time to wake up and get back on it and my goal this time is to set a new mark. You know, blow that 300 away. My my next mark is going to be, you know, 275 or something like that to where I refuse to get past that number. Refuse. And so even if I fail and fall flat on my face, that's my next mark. And I think that's where you set your new set point. I think, you know, Simeon's had it on the, on the ball. You create that new set point. You put your mind to that new mark. And so... I hope I can do that. Uh, I'm in it to win it. I'm still down, you know, 75 pounds, 70, 75 pounds overall. Um, I'm hoping I can get there. It's not as quick as I'd hoped, you know, but when you fall, you got to you gotta pay the piper. So 
Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hope to blog another time this week. Take care.